Welcome to my ongoing Let's Play of Stellaris with the new story pack, Synthetic Dawn. Now, as you know, we have been role-playing as the Explorminate Assimilators. Our entire, you know, goal is to assimilate all organic life and have them bend to our will of peace and prosperity inside of our own collective. Now, you're probably looking at this map and going, well, well, well. The things look so drastically different from the last time that uh, I logged into this um, playlist. I have forwarded almost 30 years. Now, I will admit I have played a lot of Stellaris, probably more than I would like to admit to any gamer out there. And I have never in my entire days been given such a wide berth in order to expand with almost no opposition. Unfortunately, it's made for a rather dry let's play. I'm watching a lot of basic mechanics in terms of, um, you know, expanding and enhancing my economy. So what I decided to do on your request, and uh, I think the better judgment all around, is just to aggressively, aggressively um, expand. And I have done so to the point where I believe, if um, my demographics are correct, I'm at a total of 15 worlds with um, uh, 201 different pops. My economy is just humming along. I've got a total of, um, I'm almost at 400 minerals per month, and uh, I've got a huge surplus of 117 energy per turn as well. Now that being said, uh, I'm really kind of uh, impressed with thing, the way things are going, but it's time for the nits and gritties to get in here. So before I actually declare war, because I have been preparing for the very first engagement with um, organic life outside of the primitives that we actually got, uh, it's just kind of a recap of what's happened here. Uh, the Commonwealth of Pol Ril ended up declaring war against the Lavis High Kingdom and decimating them. They took, you can see here, they took a huge swath of their area. They actually allied themselves, the Commonwealth of Pro, uh, Pol Bril, with the Lekankan Republic, pl Republican planets. The two of them are under a, um, or am I wrong here? Maybe I am. One second. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the the High Kingdom and the Republic are actually in, one in themselves, and they've been going back and forth at each other for the last part of you know 15 years. There's currently a peace between them as it stands, but it's weakened both of them. Now the greatest threat, without a question of a doubt, is the Yuri Collective. They are a hive mind, Blorg looking race, who actually it says here superior, but we're pretty much equivalent. Um, They've been doing one heck of a job of uh, carving a swath through what used to be the Zand, Zanded area and the Vol Stellar uh, aut uh, autocracy. So they have just been cutting a huge swath. I don't actually want to engage right now with the collective because the Kasim Corporate Union who's also equivalent to a much of mine, is actually allied themselves with the Yuri. They've got a defensive pact. So my initial idea here before I get into the war is kind of just give you that recap, but what I'm going to be doing is declaring against the Zanded and taking what little um, areas that they have in this kind of lower, you know, western location here, hopefully taking out the Zol Cellar across you as well now then after that I'm gonna be sweeping my exam the assimilators east and taking out this swath here so that's the battle plan before I proceed I just want to mention two things um, boss and J uh, SF jarhead have been awesome in following several of my let's plays uh, I gave them both OCD nightmares because I actually messed around with some of the numbering of my planets you'll notice here that I've got I've been numbering everything just like a a good AI would everything from you know exploriminate zero one two etc well when I got the three I messed up as I ended up calling the Sun one name and uh, one uh, number which was three but the planet two it gave them an OCD aneurysm my apologies gentlemen I caught it it turns out we're just not gonna have a three there's no three apparently two and binary is fine but three is not so that's the way we're gonna go 
Additionally, something I have never encountered before, if you remember correctly, uh, we actually had the Infinity Machine inside our own borders. Well, I did the research on it, and once the Infinity Machine opened up to us uh, while we were trying to hack inside of it, it basically told us to beat it. I never failed the um, Infinity Machine, at least talking to us. I don't know if it's just a random chance or if it's because I'm a machine empire, but I've never had it fail, so now it just sits here doing nothing. I'll be taking that out when the fleet's at the appropriate size. So, without further ado, okay, 14 Prime still going. We are going to good, uh, good to go. Um, before we do that, I'll just show you I've got um, my sector going. I call it Seven Prime Sector, just because that's where it started. Uh, they've been hungry for minerals, but they have been paying off big time. I've got them focused entirely on um, producing energy credits, and the reason is is because. Um, I want to be able to move my fleets around and not have to worry about that. So by because um, a machine empire is so heavily reliant on energy credits for their maintenance, I don't have to worry about it now. So this sector is just entirely dedicated to nothing more than increasing my field, um, my naval capacity, and creating energy credits. So without further ado, I will show you my fleet. Um, I have been absolutely terrible at getting weapon fleets. You see here, I'm already at level. I'm only getting level 3 missiles which is kind of pathetic to tell you the honest truth at this point of the game but I just could not do the random nature of um, Stellaris's tech tree I have not been able to get decent weapons but I have been getting decent everywhere else so I will just quickly show you the weapon designer as he stands here I've got um, medium advanced shields um, small Sermiro, Sermiro? Oh, it's metal armor, level 2 metal armor. And I'm still rocking level 2 rockets, even though I've got up and to including my cruisers. So, hopefully that'll be good to go. Alright, so without further ado, war protocols initiated. We're going to be taking out the Zandid. It's got an inferior everything to me, so I'm not worried about it. Five planets in total, and a 63 potential assimilation uh, he's also got several different races here, which is interesting. We are going to declare war. Oh my god, look at some of these prey. Why is everything so expensive when it comes to the, the cost? Interesting. I didn't expect that. Why, why is that so expensive? Hmm. That is interesting kind of stuff that happens off camera because I even took supremacy, which is basically I want to um, The seed plant war demands is reduced by 25% I don't have time for that Well, okay, I guess we're only be taking a few planets, but pff, why not just take everybody's then so yeah I don't know why this is exactly so So costly, but we were going to be taking this Anavalum we are going to take Sector Katara. Um, we're, and then we're going to take... We're probably going to destroy this outpost because it's too close to my borders. I don't know if I necessarily want to take this one here because I don't want to cause any friction between me and the Collective at this point yet. Do you have to remember if you... Um, You do remember, I wonder if I can, yeah, I should be able to take Akamar because these are allies. I can take Akamar, okay. Um, I also don't want to create any type of friction because, between the Uri Collective, and the reason is, is because I am playing on hard, and um, hard is no joke, especially with the changes that they've done with the AI. Okay, so it looks like I'll be taking these two planets, these three planets here, and that might be enough for me. So I can... I want to make them destroy frontier outposts. Um, Martum. Okay, that'll take us 86. That's acceptable. Okay. Like I said, diplomatic alert. You're about to get assimilated. Now... I've also got my armies up and ready to go. I've got uh, six battle frame armies and six uh, 12 hunter killer armies. That'll be good to go. 
First things first, let's take care of this um, frontier outpost. I want it destroyed. I don't like it near my borders. It's a deal, which means that I'm probably going to have to renew my curator because I'm, I'm... No, apparently we've got a few more days left on that. How many days, you ask? I've got about a year and a half. That's not too bad. Okay, so uh, where is my fleet? 18 cruisers, 23 destroyers, and 43 corvettes with a mixture of close quarter combat and uh, torpedoes. So I really don't see this being a problem. We're going to lick it up and laugh all the way to the bank. Oh, there's been a war. Oh, interesting. So the uh, Kassam Corporate Union has actually gone after the Zandid as well so that we're gonna be he's gonna be fighting on two fronts which is fine by me but it does mean that I'm gonna get a little bit of um, I'm gonna get a little bit of flack here because I'm gonna have to move very quickly and a rivalry between the pro bill and the vol so it seems like um, the AI has really been ramped up in this um, with patch 1.8 and they are very aggressive if you show any type of weakness you're done and I'm not showing any that being said, I still have some room on my naval capacity, so I'm going to top up a little bit. Some cruisers, some... You know, where's my destroyers? There we go. Destroyers are actually ended up uh, being... I've always liked destroyers because you could... You could always put uh, quite a bit of... Um, you could put large... Uh, modules on for weapon systems, so oftentimes I would use them as long range and then... Um, then they would engage the smaller corvettes, but it seems like um, they're staying back a little bit further in this, and the cruisers are taking a little bit more of the beating. I'll tell you the truth, it's uh, it's actually pretty impressive what they've done. So I'm just gonna build some pops here. Perfect. All right, here we go. We're gonna engage the Avalam's system. What's this here? The Levine people look back with a fondness on a time when Explorminators and Levon live peacefully side by side. We are ready to bury the hatchet if you are. Do I have... Oh, he's ended the rival with me. That's nice. Probably because he knows he's up... Uh... Ooh, what's this here? 2,000. The Volk... Oh my god, really? Are you really going to do that? Well, I guess I should take care of that <laughs> pathetic little fleet from the Vol. Oh. Um going on why am I in battle oh I just I ended up going in right next to Technological um, their military station I just want to get rid of that if because if he starts bombing 14 I'm gonna be in real trouble because um, he could actually if he had the ability to Ooh, yeah battleships this early would be nice that's not that early but I gotta make sure that I get that um, that fleet off of my fledging 14. System survey complete. All right, where are you? I'm gonna quickly give some orders out to my construction station or construction ship. My science ship should be rocking and rolling. Oh great, he's already on top of my, 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 hopefully, I don't know what, um, okay, because they could actually do a full bombardment, it looks like they're just doing a light one, so. Get over there, fleet, let's go. SF Jarhead's got fleet, I do believe we've named it, uh, Zero Fleet. Let's see what this bad boys can do with such a limited, um, hardware. What do we got here, naval capacity up. I should uh, I should probably upgrade to level three, but I'm not gonna boy. When I say level three, what I'm talking about is uh, there we go. Just mop it up. Missiles are back, baby. Didn't lose a single um, ship in that engagement. Perfect. Okay, now that that fleet's been pretty much eradicated, off to Levan system. We've kind of left our transports out and open them, which is always bad news, Browns. 
Um, this is part. Hey, let's go. Come on. That's one thing it's hard to do sometimes is uh, oftentimes I will be, I'll play um, deep into one of, uh, you know, deep into a game. Sometimes even though I've kind of technically won the game, I'll play till 2500 some of the maps that I do. And I ended up getting the jump drive almost every one. Well, I mean, essentially every one. Ah, uh, let alien lives die. Download their patterns. That's what we're going to do. Because guess what? That'll pay off dividends later when one of the uh, fallen empires, which we actually encountered here observer of the fallen race so I've actually got uh, the two fallen empires are kind of right next to my border compared to anybody else not too terribly concerned at this point but it is what it is all right our first invasion has happened okay so looks like he's got a star base or um, spaceport back up and running shouldn't be too bad we will take that down Oh, looks like we've lost a uh, favor again. We both got missiles, so I actually don't have any point defense. So hopefully this doesn't work out too, or doesn't uh, affect me too too badly. I typically don't do uh, point defense uh, when I'm fighting a lesser race, just because I want to fill that spot up with as much firepower as I can. Whereas if I was going to fight an empire that I know for a fact had quite a substantial amount of um, missiles and they were comparable to mine, then yeah, I would. I'd uh, definitely pay more attention, get my point defense up where it needs to be. A couple more cruisers and a couple more destroyers as we bombard the very first planet and the conquest of the assimilators from Explorminate. Oh yeah, this is... They've already got unrest. I don't know why the unrest is here. Oh, because they're enslaved. <laughs> well, you're about to be liberated. Oh, it looks... What do we got here? Okay, so seed panets. That's what I... Do. What do I want here? Shipbuilding speed, 15%. Um, army damage or seed planet. Um, I'm definitely going ship speed, so... Because I don't know. It always ends up coming... It ends up being the best way to go about it, to tell you the honest truth. Okay, so we have now conquered that planet. They've got a multitude of different races here. I don't even recognize them. Must have been a previous race. Hathgum, eh? You'll make excellent additions to the Explorminate Collective as we continue on pushing deeper and deeper. Looks like we've maxed out our influence here. I don't really have any additional leaders that I could purchase. So, um, I wonder what my policies. What we got here? The Grand Fleet. Energy credits per fleet defeated. Ooh, that's actually not too bad. Um, I think I'm pretty much going to go with the Grand Fleet, though. Grand Fleet, you can see here, was going to give me um, a fleet number up to 200. Did I actually engage that? Let's see what I did. No, I did not. Okay, there we go. 250. Mm-hmm. Coffee makes me nervous when I drink it. All right. Well, where's my production values? 4473. I'm going to go 39 and do a production value there. Just to get rid of some influence as we continue on. We just jump on and. No, okay, we're good. Perfect. And this looks like it's their capital world. They must have some type of subjects that they um, that they had uh, part of their race, like a, like just basically like a subjugated race that they had were kind of born on the same planet. Don't know what the exact terminology is for that. Boy, am I, I gotta get my, I gotta spend some damn credits, man. My um, my economy is getting to the point where I'm actually, I actually think that I'm gonna be able to outpace anybody. I can't imagine. Oh, look at this, looky looky here. They always tend to go for these the planets that have just recently taken over. So I'm going to take my fleet and ma made them back there. Good. So we're at 29%. I can pop right on top of them. Going to come? 
what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to bait this fleet. Oh no, he's decided to go back, which is fine. If we can bait him in there with the transport. Oh no, he doesn't. He went back again. This is one of the things that I dislike about this game is that sometimes I'm going to be playing all over the place trying to catch up with this damn fleet. Yeah, I want your uh, your goodies. Hopefully he's got only warp one. If he has only warp one, yeah, we should be able to jump right on top of him. Right here. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, so he's going to engage with, with some of my armies, which is a bit of a shame here. Oh, everybody's not liking us, but that's fine because it's actually going to pause us for a minute. I'll be able to take down that fleet and the where did he go? You gotta be kidding me. He was able to es Oh, it's because he was in battle for so long. Ah, no matter, we'll continue on. How many f um, How many transports did I lose there? Didn't see I lose it, lost any. Goody, goody. What I got here in total then? Uh, 10 of 16? Yeah, we're in good shape. Alright, and now the invasion continues for the Explorminate Assimilators. Love it. And in the meantime, not only have I taken nearly no losses, but... My fleet actually continues to build quite a bit in size. Even with the Edict of the Grand Fleet, I'm going to be running into my fleet cap pretty soon. Just literally running out of places to spend my money. Okay, we're going to be able to mop this up. No problems at all. Oh man, I'm looking forward to being able to assimilate all these different types. I think it's going to be a runaway, tell you the honest truth. Unless something bizarre happens like we get... I can't think of anything, quite frankly, that's going to happen. That's going to slow us down. It's literally going to be a runaway. Mmm, I love those hunter killers. Those robots are tough. Okay, so we got one fleet in here at 74. Let's see if we can't get rid of him real quick. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna jump... Where are we gonna jump next? Um, I guess we could take down this... What's this we got here? Oh, this is... The alien... Oh, I, I see. This is a... I know what this is exactly. This is an event where you find a whole bunch of crystals on these... Um, asteroid belt but we actually asked for that part of the demands didn't we that we destroy that one uh destroy we did so we'll actually be i believe i'm pretty sure we'll end up owning that and we'll clear it out later we don't want to do it now so we're going to continue on this way to the diadem diadem system oh back he's back again okay i'm going to try to catch up with him. I'm pretty sure he went to this one. At the meantime, I'm actually going to move my troops. This is one thing you should do, boys and girls, if you're watching this. Always protect your damn troops. They end up becoming a, a massive target for if they're just left out in the open, even though you think that their fleets are gone. I'm going to try to catch up with that fleet as best I can. Oh, it looks like he had to go here. I can't get him. Attract him enough to get him, beat him to try to take back uh, Bobby La Latrick. Bobic Latrick. Who thinks of these names? Alright, let's see if we can't catch up with him. Well, it looks like we're gonna get him. Perfect. That's all I need to know. The assimilation is now pretty much complete. Well, looks like oh, looks like our admiral has gained a trait, uh, a new trait. Good on you there, SF Jarhead. I know you had it in you. What do we got here? What trait did he get? What the fudgicles? Come on, man! <laughs> oh damn it! All right, arrested development is the worst possible trait you can get. It means you've been drinking on the damn job. So his leader experience game is down a thousand percent meaning that he's that's it like that's 
That's the amount of traits he's going to get, no matter how much my ex my leader experience uh, cap goes up. Great. Well, what's this here? We've got another fleet just popping in. Why don't you say, come and say hello to my friend, SF Jarhead. He's an AI robot that likes to indulge on in some type of erotic asphyxiation for robots. Okay, perfect. So we've lack, licked that up, no problems. We're going to continue on with the invasion. Okay. Take my troops off of Akamar, which I believe that I popped them down. I did. Just in case I didn't want them to get in trouble. And we're going to take down what's left of the fleet. Looks like we've got some unemployment. Oh, look at that. I'll have to prepare that. And what's good about this planet exactly? Society output, biological. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just make this a mix. I'm going to have to show you one of the planets that I did previously to this because I actually have a planet that's going to be entirely nothing but um, research. And then a planet, of course, my sector is going to be nothing but power. So, But I digress. We'll show that. If we have time in this episode, I'll kind of show you a little bit of how my I planet uh, got some of my planet constructions the way that it is. Because you can see here that I'm, I'm actually doing not too bad when it comes to my timing, considering how big my empire is. All right. Perfect. Spaceport's down. I actually don't even think I've lost any, any ships yet. Testament to excellent Admiral. Uh, guaranteed revoked. I don't really care about that because it involves... Uh, this is stupid. Okay, are going to come back and bomb? No, you're not. Back and start bombing there. Technological acquisition successful. Ooh, warp drive three. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I want to... Uh, well, no, I should probably focus on some of these... Yeah, point barrier defense, 6,000, advanced combat rules. Uh, I plan to go out of war a lot, so I probably should get some point defense, just in case. Because I have no idea what some of these larger... The Yuri, I don't know what his fleet is comprised of. Maybe I can sneak a little treat, uh, treat on there, and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, fleet size, not too bad. Good. Excellent. Planetary pacification protocols. Yeah, these look at this. These robots just just absolutely mop it up. There's just no chance for this defending planet. Okay, so I've gotten all the plants that I want, and now I'm gonna have to I don't know, figure out a way to, to get rid of them. I'm actually gonna put my fleet sorry, land my armies back down. Oh I can't because it's full. Alright. This is my uh, my planet there. That was my research planet. I believe I enabled that number 10. Why can't I get in there? Where am I going to go here? I guess I'm going to go here. One thing they haven't really fixed too much in this game is oftentimes when you are in, you have a defensive pact um, with another race. You have to take out quite a bit of their planets to try to get them to subside. Um, they've built a... What the heck? What have they done here? They built a... A military space as defensive platform entered around my occupied planet. That's interesting. I've never seen the AI do that before either. Interesting things the AI has been doing since the patch, and I absolutely love it because it's made for a very interesting challenge. All right, let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have all day and night to, to subdue this entire and pacify this entire um, empire. I've got assimilation that needs to be done. One zero 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 one zero zero. What the society research unit? Oh no, we lost one of our scientists. That's not good. Oh well. Fresh new recruits. Biology, new worlds, well. That's a shame. I've actually lost very few robots, so it's a bit of a shame. 
So it looks like he's got a fleet of 2,000. I'm going to take my reserve fleet. This is one of the things I love about building. What I've done here is when I build a reserve fleet when I'm, I'm a, the war is going rather well, I'll send that reserve fleet in to protect the planets that have already been um, conquered because often the AI will try to prioritize these planets that have already been taken over versus actually stopping my main fleet or playing any type of cat and mouse game. So what I do is I send my reserve fleet in there and I just play a little bit of harassment works out rather well all right what do we got here oh it looks like we got some type of defensive platform looks like we've already knocked it right down to heck oh it looks like we got some of their uh perfect it looks like we uh, jumped right on top of some of their troops too to get anywhere in this uh current engagement i'm gonna have to probably take a good hard look at getting the after this guy. His technological level is superior to mine. I wonder if he's willing to do a trade. Hey, how you doing? Wow. He is way more advanced than me. I have to kind of catch up. So I think going after the Yuri Collective is going to be a long waiting game. It's going to be one of those games where I'm going to have to really start producing some of my some uh, more planets that are producing nothing more than uh, research. Try to catch up. All right. I don't want any more Corvettes. I think what I want is more destroyers. It looks like our secondary fleet is jumped right on top of them. Awesome. This is going to be great. Oh, this is a very close engagement. It's not good for our shooting rockets. Oh, well, we got rid of it. I think pretty sure we took some heavy casualties. Two destroyers and two corvettes. That's actually not too bad. Pretty much stops them right in their tracks because I've either blown up most of their fleet already. They have pretty much got no spaceports to to speak of. Okay, land, land your troops. Exploratory simulators. You know the deal. And I'm running right out of. Do I have any? I don't know if I found any other curators. Oh, well, yes, I have. I'd like to trade for minerals, please. There you go. What's my cap here? 25,000, okay. I'm really gonna have to spend some money here. But I won't, I, and typically I would. I would, at this point, if you're kind of looking at, oh, look at this. Sim Corporate Union <laughs> wants what I got. They want to just, they want to do the exact same thing that I was just doing. Um, yeah, so anyway, I, I typically would pause the game and just reorganize my economy, spend with the money on things that need to be spent on, especially things like, um, oh, it looks another defensive platform. Things like upgrading my plat or um, my infrastructure, etc., things like that. I just don't do that in this case because it's kind of, it breaks the action up a little bit. Hey, where's my, where's my um, transport fleet, damn it? Look at this. Look at the amount of money I'm pouring in. This is really incredible. I'm going to be able to, like, mop up everybody if I choose to. That's one of the things when it comes to the um, robot races is if you can get them to survive that early game, really get the, the entire economy humming, you'll be able to completely decimate anybody in terms of the economy, especially when you start terraforming worlds into machine worlds. No joke. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is if I can't get... If this planet doesn't end up being... What's this here? Oh, well, one fleet, that's fine. We'll mop them up. Oh, we are... Like, they are relentless in their quest to try to destroy things. Okay. Oh, 70%. Jeez, I wonder if I should just try to f uh, get five per piece because they're, they're at war with two different fronts. Let's see if, what they're interested in. Maybe they're going to be interested in negotiating with me. So I'm going to want... I want... Avalam, Guitar, and I want Akamar. Oh, well, they won't give me Akamar, eh? What if they destroy... 
send demands. Okay, there we go. We've we've uh, essentially uh, secured victory, but I just didn't feel like beating them up for like you know days and days and days on end, especially when they're fighting on two different fronts. This way, we've secured exactly what I want. We've gotten a foothold here. Oh, look at this! Is this in our is this in our uh, base? Oh, it does not. It's still in the Fallen Empire. I was like, oh, I might have gotten what is that? Ruin sensor array, which would have been nice. Then I would have known exactly how to build my fleets. Okay, we've got obviously some ticked off pops. They're like, no, we don't want to be slaves. And I'm like, don't worry, you won't. You'll be part of the collective where there is no pain, only victory. Lots of different characters to enjoy when it comes to this. Okay, everybody, so this has been an action packed um, episode. Um, Feel somewhat apologetic on how the series has gone uh, on a little bit of the dry side thus far, but uh, it'll will now pick up. You can tell immediately because I've maxed out my minerals for gosh sakes, which um, is going to mean that I'm going to be able to make a cut a huge swath into some of these different races. We'll see how it happens. You got to think at this point, I've got my 10 year cooldown. So my only real options at this point is probably going after the Lavis High Kingdom. And they are soft and ripe for the taking. So that's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to upgrade my fleet. I'm going to get um, spend some of this very earned money of mine subdue some of my new Explorminate species back into the collective and get ready to swing all my forces from the west to the east straight up 1940. Okay everybody this has been Army P. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.